What's up everybody, Boss Winter here. Welcome back to GTA 5. So, last time I finally got back to this game. It was been a, it had been a while, but I said I'm trying to get this out as much as I can. So, um, we were planning to do the Union Depository heist, and uh, we need to find a fire truck. We've got to get a wig off. We just need a fire truck, and I think, it will, uh, I think we'll be ready for the... Well, it's not the Union Depository, it's a different heist to rob the FIB. But first, we're going to do Michael's mission because I've not done this one. Trevor has a few side missions. Oh, well, he apparently has one. There's one there, which is Josh. But that's his last. That's actually the last mission for Josh. But we want to get this mission out. I don't remember which one this is though. I do not have a clue. We will find out though. I don't really remember some of the missions. Hello, hello. Good to see you, Slick. Oh. Devin, the hell are you doing here? It's over, Michael. You're done good, kid. You kept this bullshit up long enough to help me trigger a fantastic insurance payout when the plug is pulled. I love you. You're, you're like my spirit brother now. Where's Solomon? He's out getting the negatives of film, whatever the fuck it is. The last dinosaur in town is about to get fossilized. What are you talking about? Look, the movie's nearly done, so if the plug's pulled now, the investors, meaning us, get a massive insurance payout. Meanwhile, I can use that to get the other major shareholder, the old bastard's idiot son, to agree to tear this relic down and let me redevelop the area for condos. <laughs> and in this economy, the city's gonna let me build tax-free. I might even get some rebates. It is a brilliant thing, and it is all thanks to you and Molly's eye for the details of the insurance policy. Michael! They're fucking us! The suits! And they don't even wear suits! Wolves in turds clothing! Try not to take it too badly, Mr. Richards. Were you ever a human being? Look, people used to like films, now they like what? Videoing themselves, beating off on their iFruit phones. Don't blame me. I'm a very spiritual person. I feel badly about this. But evolution is evolution. Gentlemen, Molly. Namaste. Can I take the film now, Mr. Richards? My plane leaves in 25 minutes. Can't we do something? At least let me finish the picture, then close the place down. <clears throat> I'm afraid our timetable doesn't allow for that. Goodbye, Mr. Richards. Where the hell is she going with that movie? She is taking the only copy offshore, somewhere nice and discreet. Analog! God, it's certainly got its complications. Michael, can you do something? No, he can't do anything, pal. It's an inevitability. <sighs> My wife got screwed by a yogi. And now I'm getting screwed by a yogi? Fuck that! I'm a producer! Nobody fucks with my film! <sighs> there you go. Okay, yeah. okay. The airport. Yeah, we're taking this off. Oh, it's getting serious. Hey. Hey, Devin. Down, slick. You're not thinking. Hey, I'm a producer. I'm producing the goods. Don't do this, Slick. Think. She's got a police escort. She's on the way to my personal hangar. Security at the airport work for me. I just want to get the film back before she does anything rash with it. Molly's highly strung. She's not going to stop and talk it out with a deranged killer chasing after her. That ain't who I am today. Look, I don't want to hurt <laughs> anyone. I just want to get my move. Slow down and use your brain. Fun time is over. <sighs> One time isn't over because I'm playing. I just started. Kevin. I just started playing, so playtime is not over. Playtime has just started for me. Since it's 5 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I'm not even joking. <laughs> uh, I don't. My playtime starts in the front. I just feel like it is. Molly. No, they've been called to say I'm coming up here.
Whoa, jeez, forgot about that. Jesus. Whee! <laughs> Whoa. Surely she should be arrested for this. Causing some sort of problem with the scene. Can he? Why do you talk? Yeah, literally, she, yeah, he killed him. Yeah, he killed him too as well. She should go into prison for this. Because of me, I just want my film. It's all I want. Whoa! No, no, no! Oh, oh my lord! Over, what right? happened to this? <laughs> oh my god! You turned it into the Porsche. <laughs> it looks like a Porsche. There we go, finally Molly's dead. I fucking hate her. I hated her and Devin. They're both the fuck. Yeah, you lost me. I'm just a plane flying upside down. And I was. Oh, this thing's not looking good. Oh, this is not looking good. Well, they can't believe I killed him. I'm not turning that way, by the way. But right, it's going on its side on its own. This doesn't look good. <laughs> I'm not turning that fucking way! Stop turning that way on the side! Alright. And there we go, we got it. Use my weak income. Oh, didn't check that. Oops. nothing between us now that I know you prefer dictation really we're doing this now I just watched Devin Weston's legal counsel get juiced in a jet engine oh that Molly woman oh lord that's horrible you have no idea she panicked went crazy and ran into it but I saved the print so we still got our movie you believe that analog thing it's all digital we have backups everywhere I mean we're shooting on green screen well, you could have told me. I'm sorry. Look, I thought you knew. The edit's nearly done, and Ooh. we've got to get it out before they can screw us again. I've greenlit a premiere. That will stop them from burying us. A premiere? For Meltdown? Okay. Can you invite my family? They can finally have something to be proud of me for. Of course. It's already on its way by courier. All right. Shit. I'll get ready. It was an American divorce, by the way. The movie quote. Obviously. Right, let's get out of this fucking plane. 
Jesus Christ, that's gonna fucking crash land anytime soon. There are certain ways you can actually call for a fire engine. Fire truck is easy. I can do. I do it this way. Hello, this is 911. What emergency service do you require? Thank you. The fire department are en route to your location. So you can do it that way, or you can actually find places to go. And I do know way some places I think, but I know one, but it's really far away. It's like near the top of the map. Um, a Zentorno. Okay, it's been a while. I'm now literally in this. Literally just came out of the hospital. I tried to blow something up, but I was too close to it. And uh, yeah, it's a bit fucked up. Oh, hey! Oh, man! That the hell? No! Oh. Oh god, Jesus calls it all against me today! Let me get a fucking truck! No! No, no, no. Give me this fucking car. We gotta get out of here! Seriously. I, car, lady. I don't even get they literally just went off, they didn't even do anything. I just drove on. No, I called you for a fucking reason. Get out the fucking truck. Get out the fuck out. Get the fuck out now. Fuck out. Useless guys don't even fucking do the job. Oh what? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Exactly. Oh jeez, you're in the range. Okay. Never mind, that's what they were in range. Shut up. Right, I've got these two cops. Literally, I don't know how long. I literally called them where I was the last saw. And they've literally not shown up at all. They didn't want to show up at all. And then I found a sick car, and then I took it back to the garage and uh, tried to blow up a car so the fire took the show, and I was a bit too far to the car, and then, yeah. It's, it all went balls. So, I've never actually had so much trouble trying to fucking find a fire truck again in my life. This might actually be the the Robin FIB. Because we could definitely get them today. Um the fiat or do I need to do one more thing? If if I do, the game's got one more thing. As good as the last time we used the uh Garment Factory, it's the last time we ever used to see, see this. It's in the end of it. There's literally no other missions to do except for this one. Or do Josh, or do Trevor. Trevor's mission. Might do that last. What's your emergency? Oh, so I could have got. Yeah. I don't give a damn. I do call them, but then I have to freaking stop them myself. Stupid. Hey Lester, we got a fire truck. It's parked around the back of your place. Then I guess we can't put it off any longer. I'll get word out to the guys. Come out to my office and speak to me. Sure thing. Let's go do it. At night. Hey! How you doing? Right. <laughs> ah, pretty good, under the circumstances. About to knock off a federal government building. Oh, meanwhile, my psychotic former BFF is trying to figure out a way to kill me. But hey, the meds are kicking in. Life's good. Well, oh, exactly. Franklin got us what we need. Put those on. Then what? Then, head in there and uh, rig up a slightly more sophisticated fire trap than we've got here. So... <laughs> I'm guessing drapes and send a candle aren't going to do the trick, huh? No, 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 no. We'll have incendiaries and a remote device. 
Now they need to be strategically placed so we can ensure that we still have access to the server and that the structure maintains its integrity. This is all distorted. What the? Now once you get out, trigger the bombs, meet up with Franklin and the crew, and we'll intercept the emergency call, and you all go in as firemen. Oh, got it? Yeah, I got it. Sounds really that idiotic. That must smell so well, good in there. Under the circumstances, Petrol smells the best great. I could do. And if you remember, <laughs> you were the one who chose to do it like this. Oh, come on. But, you know, Trevor has a point about you. You whine too much. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, don't even try it. <laughs> don't worry. It might be my thumbnail. <laughs> oh, fuck you. <laughs> I remember this one having a really bad pay out for like. Franklin. That 5k in the corner is really pissing me off. Hey, so good. Don't matter. The Garlic Factory will no longer be a place anymore. That is no longer happening. Franklin. What's up, Mike? I'm about to start my shift at the Bureau. Hey, can you grab Packy and Daryl? Get the fire truck and be ready to go when I give the word, alright? Alright, dawg. Hey, one of them dudes is a beast, so we might just do this. Hey, look, clean up in the eye. Yes, I'm clean up. Franklin, I would have to go do that now. They weren't wasting time walking. Just go in there. Do my job, get the fuck out. You new? Just go through the turnstile. I will do that. Oh, I have to walk in here. Okay, great. Yeah, they keep changing the contractors. Yeah, because guys like me keep losing their jobs and agreeing to do this for less. All right, head up. Yeah. Exactly. I got. I, I can't imagine how much money the janitors get. I mean, I wouldn't know if I'm not a janitor, so. <laughs> I need earbuds. I need earbuds. I'd be fucking bored out my mind if I was a chance of doing this. I'm assuming janitors do have earbuds, right? They can listen to music. Surely. They'd be hella bored. Sorry, I have to drop it over there. I think if you do three mops, it gets dirty. Ah, dirty. What? <laughs> but I it did it once. How's it dirty after once? Is it by the back? Someone could see that. I'd place it by the back. I don't get why that five grand is in the corner still. Okay, good. Better say. So after one wipe, one little wipe, it's done. We're past. I'll do the ones all the way over here first. Since I can't carry the bucket everywhere now, which is stupid, which I think you should be able to. Let's just test it out. Let's just make sure. 
Ah, shit. See? Literally, what? Thanks, game. One mop, and it's done. That is bad. It makes you go back and forth. It drives you insane. <laughs> Seriously. This game makes you really, really want to mop. How do, I, how do I always do this? Do it this way. Mainly probably because I've never done it the other way. And I make sure I could, I know what I'm doing in this one, so. I guess we're okay. I will clean them up. You couldn't tell this is the most boring part of the mission. <laughs> if you couldn't tell. Nope. Don't make it dirty, thanks. Okay, good. <sighs> In case you needed proof, coffee was a diuretic. That makes sense. No one's gonna look behind the toilet. Out of my way, fool. Think you're important? Guess what? You're not. Trust me, you really get thankful when I do this to your place. <laughs> Everyone says they hate their job. Make sure. Well, guess what? You're gonna make sure. You're not gonna be working for a while. If that's all the janitor can do this day, it'd be great, wouldn't it? <laughs> it is if you've been there for five minutes. It's like, ah, time to head home. Good day's work. Five minutes. Time to, time to go. Still thinks that a janitor works, but... In this game, it is. Back down to level four. Detonate them as soon as we get out. Obviously, not in front of them, but it's all good. They don't work so hard. Building's closing any second. Oh, no, it's gonna be a loud bang in a second. This place will be booming. Just you wait. Just you wait. Hey, charge is set. I'm out of the building. Let me on the way. Hey, dog, we're right around the corner. We got your gear in here with us. Hey, look, everybody cool, right? Because once we pick him up, it's all go, all right? I'm ready for anything. What the hell you... Thank you. Hey, bud, how's it going? All right, trigger the fire bombs, Frank. I'll get my turnout gear on. That's leak.
Go to the elevator. I wouldn't trust an elevator in this. Alright, Lester says these elevators should still be fine. Was he on an industrial strip painkillers or that loose notory weed at the time? Yeah, probably a little bit of both. Cool, dog. Thanks for clearing that shit up. We gotta go across. Take the stairs to the top floor. Alright, we're going across to the far stairwell and up to the top floor. We take these up six stories. Server rooms on 53. Not much further. Let's punch it. 53, eh? I'm zooming all faster. You can tell, smoke. We're on the 53rd. The server room's this way. I'm getting stuck on the wall. I'm pretty sure I have to put a stick on my hand. I'm pretty sure all it is. The door's locked! F, I need you to fit a bomb and... To open it up! It's hot! Look out! Removable drive in the server stack on the far wall. Got it. Hey, we got the containment drive. Come on. We ain't got long. Follow me. It's coming down. He's over to the left. Rapid. Let's all people. Yeah, the floor starts breaking in it. Surprise, motherfucker! <laughs> No. The reason why I picked that that was guys because he does he just dies. I know he, he, he gets it. Took me an elevator shaft through here. Might be able to repel down it. You might be able to repel down it. That's the big problem in things like this. Or in real life, you might. Fuck. 
I can see what went up because the other guy is dead. Alright, we're going. <laughs> Alright, we all gotta change before we get there. At some point soon, an APB will go out looking for firemen. We cannot be playing dress up when that happens. We need to get to the right and torch this fire truck as soon as possible. I'm working on it. Yeah, because if they connect the dots, man. I don't know. Man, I'm working on it. Any minute, they'll be looking for us. I mean, those guys in the building you took down. If they knew... Who else is gonna know? It ain't worth thinking about, dog. Trust me. I'm gonna get us there as fast as I can. All right, shit. Shit. I just don't want to run into something. Y'all don't want to run into Trevor, bro. That's who you don't want to run into. <laughs> You're right. So, uh, take this story kid out, avoiding the cop, feds, and my dear friend Trevor Phillips. All right, man, I'll try. Try real hard, okay? Cool. Drive us to Lester's. Now that we're clear, I can probably tell you people. I didn't think we were gonna make it out of there. Uh, one of us didn't. We lost a dude, man. Oh, yeah, shit. What are you doing employing clowns? I couldn't get work in this town for a year, and that guy's booking jobs? Yeah, that guy told he could handle himself. Tell you, we're lucky we found you. Well, anyway, we made mm. it out. Yes. So we got that to be thankful key. for. Daryl's people will get his paycheck and the standard expenses. Hey man, it was our fault Daryl went down. Really? Why's that? Didn't you speak to the guy? Nothing was his fault, so it uh must have been us, right? Uh, <laughs> I'll put it down to bad leadership then. I can tell you that because the leader was dumb enough to take you in there. True that. I mean, I picked him because I knew he was going to die. <laughs> That's the only reason why I picked him, because I knew he was going to die. So I don't know, I don't know, I actually do know if we get his call. All right, I'm out of here. Hey, <laughs> well, what? I never thought I'd see you clowns again. We did it! Oh! Fucking A Ray, we oh. did it! How was it? For a suicidally dangerous mission impersonating emergency services while working a high security government facility? It was surprisingly uplifting. <laughs> Come here. Give me some of that. Ow, 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 ow. Oh. Sorry, I forgot. You forgot my very, very obvious illness? It happens. Uh, whatever. Hey, let's get drunk. Franklin, fill up the glasses. I've got some real... Vintage moonshine, hillbilly type shit. We're gonna be seeing triple and committing incest in minutes. <laughs> just the shit to make a man forget his trouble. Oh, exactly. I am just gonna get drunk as a skunk, and then I'm gonna reverse engineer a webcam and spy on the sorority girls again. <laughs> I'm oh. ill, okay? Give me a break! Cheers! <laughs> <laughs> man, that's some wild ass shit! Oh. <laughs> All right, boys, I hate to break up the ritual, but I gotta go square things up with Davy and Dick Wild. Uh, for serious? 
Hey, I just want them to know that now that we did this thing for them, and we have the evidence that we did this thing for them, that we can all go our own separate ways, you know? Well, fuck it. You want me to go with you, dog? No, stay. Have fun. I gotta do this alone. Right now. The sooner the better. It's one way to look at it, eh? Right. <laughs> Besides, I want to put this shit to bed. Then I can figure out Trevor, you know? Get my life back. Go back to being bored and miserable. And loving every motherfucking minute of it. Here, enjoy the incest juice. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you boys sure know how to put the fun back in midlife crisis. <laughs> enjoy the incest juice. Jesus. Alright. Cool. That mission is now done. So Mike couldn't get any of that money. I don't fucking know why. But he didn't. We hit the bureau for you, Dave. I'm done. Yes, I saw that. Meet me at the court center and I'll debrief you. <clears throat> I'm out, Davey. From now on, done. I appreciate that. I'm trying my best for you, but, but you and Trevor attacking Merriweather? Repeatedly? It doesn't help. That's Trevor's thing. Whoever's thing it is, it's unauthorized and it's dumb. They've been sniffing around my office. We really need to talk. Really? <sighs> all right, all right. I'll come to the court center. Fuck. Uh, I would love to, but you know what? I'm not gonna. I'm going to be Trevor. Why? I'm gonna do that last mission for Josh, because I really want to get over it. Oh my god, Trevor, you're over here? Why? Oh, more driving for me to do. Also, I want to mention one more thing. This right here. I must have saved this for a video. Like the start of one. And I was wondering why Dom's missions aren't popping up for Franklin. I think this is the reason why I forgot to do one more. So I think at the start of the next episode we'll do that. And I want to finish off Trevor's missions over here. We only got to do five, uh, only five, three, I think three more. So I just two or three of some time. Yeah, let's do this last mission for Josh because just look at my house. He's a goddamn nut job. Calm down, sir. If you can just give me a detailed description. Tony! Where's your wife? You owe me. Officers, here he is. This man is insane. He destroyed my house. Whoa! Hey! No, wait a minute. You asked me. He's he's ruined my life. He's he's a he's a stalker. He's he's an epsilonist! Yeah, get him. Yeah, something happened. No, Tony. Dumb Fuck move, you. Josh. Whoa. Very dumb move. Yeah, he was not surviving after that. Last time, I didn't survive. Why? Uh, as I didn't know, I was gonna kill him. <laughs> I never knew the mission was. Kill him or what? I have no idea. So that's how he's alive. to do a nice thing for someone. Take some time out of your day to pleasure a man's wife, burn down a house. I don't know. Some people. I need a Big step up from the two stars. It's always a big step up. It's not hard to see three stars, it's just annoying. Really? Piss off. Every single part is in the way. 
everything is in my way. Oh, I'm just a bad driver. Probably just a bad driver. Oh, I don't know how bad. This is what happens when you fly in Opesa for the years in GTA, or you just don't play GTA for enough anymore. I've had enough time on the game. That's fucking cars, this car's no fucking good. This car is never gonna be good. We stop it for one of my favorite, my, in my opinion, one of the fastest cars. No one really waits this car. And doesn't matter. Not pursuit. Doesn't matter. Turn it off. Miss me. So who has what? Okay, so no one has missions now. It's literally just Michael. Actually, that parachute. I might just put it at the end of the video because I can't bother to like do it at the start of the video. There's no point. It's just a parachute. I did most of them off camera, but I said I wanted to start one that might start the Dom mission. But who knows? Or I might just do it off camera because there's no point. <laughs> it's literally useless. It's just a parachute. That's all it is. So, uh, yeah, so we've robbed the FIB. They've literally been had their place demolished. Well, the top floor has been. And, uh, oh, that's all gone off. Pretty much like, oh, I'm going to be doing it in a minute. Well, near enough the same amount, near at the same time. Right now. That's <laughs> no joke. But, um, yeah, so we've robbed the FIB. And obviously we've got the fire truck, and now Josh is dead. No more bouncy bouncy for Trevor. We'll get over it. So uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of GTA 5. If you did, please drop a like on this video. Leave a comment down below what you think about this video. And hit that subscribe button if you're new. And I'll see you on this video. Peace out everybody. Goodbye.